Hi guys, uh, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is gonna be a reading for Leo for January 2022. And of course, there's a whole bunch of people out there. This is not gonna be every single person's story. Take what's yours, leave the rest alone. Also, feel free to swap around the energy. I could always uh, be talking to a cross watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And, um, and I was gonna say, we still have Venus in retrograde. We also still have, um, uh, which rules the planet of love. We also have Mercury going into retrograde on Dece on January 19th. On January 2nd, we recently had a Capricorn new moon. Uh, we also had Uranus, have Uranus in retrograde, which is about staying present, breaking roadblocks, cycles, passageways. Um, we also have, um, we also are in Capricorn season. And so that being said, um, you know, you guys could be wanting to be more disciplined, be more successful and focused as well uh and i also i'm still having that giveaway just comment on that video where it says who's ready for a giveaway uh or who like let's have a giveaway i don't know what it's called but i said you have to have cash app you can have paypal zell world remit i'll get that money to you uh you know don't worry about that you know there's zell there's uh, money ground there's wells fargo you know I'll, I'll send the money to you but okay let me do um one more shuffle for leo you versus them for the monthly of january 2022 uh, I will also be doing uh, the next 48. I've just been really busy right now. So I've just been wanting to do just the monthlies. And then um, I'll jump back into the next 48 on the weekend. Well, on Friday. Uh, I, don't, I don't know what date it is. Anyway, January 2022, you versus them, Leo. One more shuffle, Leo. You versus them. So right now, Leo, you could be living your best life, you know, poised. Um, you could also be feeling really happy right now. Uh, even though it may be feeling like things are a disaster or things are messing up around you, uh, you could be asking yourself why. But that's something I like to tell people, you know, when you feel like everything is falling apart, things are not falling apart. They're falling into place. So I feel like um, you're just at peace, you know, with cutting people off or like maybe just isolating yourself. With um, This is a five energy. So you're at some sort of distance from people. And it could be because, you know, you're just wanting to grow in your life, be more successful milk and honey and i feel like um you will you are actually co-creating with the universe right now and it could be whoever it is that you're dealing with that you guys are actually very compatible and a good match yeah and it could be regenerating right now or you're just you know rising from the ashes in your own life but observer you see i feel like someone is spying on you someone that you might be at a distance from that you're not really giving energy any energy to this person could have been hiding behind material items you know they were maybe kind of like a gold digger or something. Um, I apologize. This is how I was doing it. So, you know, I feel like your person is learning how to be more at peace. Um, learning to appreciate their own blessings. It's also looking like here, um, they're trying to manifest you back in. Wow. Unfinished symphony right there. Yeah, they're manifesting you back in. I'm pretty sure you didn't even know that. I don't know why I can't stop looking at that Treasure Island card. Orphan, yeah, they're left out. Mm. What was under Observer? You know, they could have been like, Gold Digger cared about money, but it's looking like they need your help. Um, or, let's take a look. Leo, you versus them for January 2022. Two more shuffles, Leo, for January 2022. One last shuffle, Leo, January 2022. And it could be because both of you guys are grounding yourselves. You know, I feel like, you know, they're manifesting you back in. See Heart Chakra because they love you. Um, and they're patient. I feel like they've been waiting for this. That's 555. Five, five. That's the, fifth, the third five I saw already so far. So that's major changes. You might not even be knowing that. Disruption. See, I feel like you're at peace here, you know, maybe cutting off people, standing your ground, that's 7-7 seven, seven right there. And I feel like you're just appreciating, you know, you're thankful um, for all that it is that you have. But I feel like this person's going to be coming back in, <laughs> heartache and loss. You know, you could be kind of just rising from the ashes, you know, wanting to focus on work, starting your own business. But your person, I feel like they're spending more time alone. They're learning to be at peace. The waiting game. I feel like they're waiting for you. They're trying to manifest you and they're waiting. 
Wow. That's crazy. Harmony. So they feel like you guys are a good match. I mean, you probably had to get over this. But I feel like you're being rewarded with this. I mean, whether you want this or not. <laughs> um, uh, because you're kind of been staying in your own lane. Staying at peace. Standing your ground. Suffering in silence. You see, they want you though. They want to move forward now that they've been grounding themselves. It's like they're learning their own power. Let me do... Uh, I also have the Romance Angels deck here I'll use. Let me just do some tarot. And that's it. Leo, you versus them. For January 2022. Leo. One more shuffle, Leo. For January 2022. This person could be a mom, but it's looking like this person... Could be questioning their future uh you could be a mom have kids want kids with this person take it however it is you can relate you see but this person feels at a distance from you so it's like they're really thinking about their future here and they want to go towards you i mean it doesn't have to be a girl you know it could be a guy with that queen of wands see i feel like you know you just kind of blew up cut people off cut things off and it's like you're just at peace you know it could be smoking mary jane right now there's a lot of Mary Jane in this card right there. You know, I feel like you're just staying in your own lane, staying at peace. You're good. But I feel like, you know, this person, I feel like they're coming towards you, but you might be hesitant or doubtful about them. See, three pentacles. Three, three, three. Partnerships and alliances right there. They want to work with you. It doesn't have to be a relationship. It could be a friend. You know, it could be a business partner. The full card. You see, it's like they're just going to jump into this. I feel like they're optimistic on having a new cycle with you. Wow, that's crazy. See, you're like, nah, you hurt me. I'm done. I'm done. But I feel like they're obsessed. And I feel like you're obsessed with your peace. Wow. You know, I, I, I'm guilty for that. I, I'm obsessed with mental peace. Um, but it could be a Scorpio Capricorn that you're dealing with. It could be a twin flame. But it's looking like this person is... These fears and these doubts are going to transform into a long-term relationship. Wow. That's crazy. Again, they're going to jump in. They want to smooth things out. They want to move forward with this. Uh, they could be wanting to travel with you. It's a Pisces. It could also be a Pisces here. I feel like they have a lot of emotions for you. Wow, Leo. This is a good reading. I mean, whether you want them or not. I mean, this could be a new person or past person. What's that fool card? Leo's person. For January 2022. Ten of Pentacles and Two of Cups. You see? They're going to jump into this. For something long term with you. What's that world card? Leo's person. You know, and it could be because they feel like you'll be successful. You see, they're hoping we're in a cycle on top of that world card. Here, let me kind of angle my camera a little bit better. And anyways, that nine of cups on top of that world card right there. You see that? That is crazy. And then Leo right there. It's like underneath at the bottom of the deck. You know, they're finding the courage to just walk away from wherever current spot they're in for you. What's that Six of Swords? Leo's person. January 2022. What do they want? Oh, they're confused about how they will move forward with you. What's the Moon card? You see, it's like they just want to make things right. It could also be a Leo that you're dealing with. You could be very stable, nurturing, down to earth. You could have long hair. Um, what's that? Moon card and the Justice card. The other person. King of Cups. They love you. They want to come in. I mean, I don't know what to say. I mean, looks like you guys have a choice on your hands. You know? If you guys want to do this or you don't. I feel like this person loves you unconditionally. I mean, they probably put you through H-E double hockey sticks, right? I mean, I saw that glitters isn't gold. So it's like, you know, maybe they were chasing money or someone they thought had money. And they realized, like, yeah, they dress good, smell nice. But they're actually broke. You know, or, you know, they they love you because of everything you did for them. What's that? Nine of Wands. Leo. For January 2022. This could be a twin flame. 
but like this person is thinking about a long-term relationship with you thinking about marriage even well not really marriage i'm not getting the hierophant what's that death card they're thinking of like a long-term relationship here i feel like this person just has regrets and that's why they're kind of confused What's that death card? King of Pentacles. This person is changing and it could be because of you. We have the King and Queen of Pentacles here. What's that Three of Pentacles? I have, uh, I've had such a headache lately. See, they want to give you attention. Six of Wands. They could feel like you're very success successful. You Wow. Successful. Um, they could also be feeling like you get a lot of attention. And that's kind of why they're wanting to leave everything behind. What's that Nine of Wands, Leo's person? That recognition and reward, heartache and loss. Oh, that's too many cards. Thank you. So it's like they don't even know how this is going to happen because some of you guys might have blocked them or not allowing them in or they weren't allowing you in. And it's like maybe they lied to get attention back then. What's the Seven of Swords? the seven of swords but it's like i feel like they've mastered that with the emperor card could be in aries and it could be because they miss you with the eight of pentacles here i feel like they're very much focused on these regrets someone could be like on their time of the month <laughs> that's kind of what this card reminds me of with the red <laughs> this is like someone's time of the month so it's someone's time of the month here this could be your story but again they want to reach out to you oh yeah yay. what is this um Devil card. See, you could be just very patient, open-minded. You could have a strong attachment to this person or you walked away from that. You know, so it's like um, you're just, you know, focusing on you. I mean, the Ten of Cups is your good. It's the Ten of Cups. Yeah, you're holding back from this person who you might see as toxic or obsessive. What's the Three of Swords? What's that three of swords, Leo? See, it's like you could have left them, broke up with them, and they still have hope here. It could be an Aquarius. It seems like they're spying on you. Again, you could be kind of watching them. I mean, tarot is a form of watching. What is the five of swords? And the ten of cups, please. See, I feel like this person could have been kind of an attention, you know, whore. And, um... They learn to be by themselves. I feel like here you could have blocked this person or it's like you're staying in your own lane even though like it, this person kind of makes you worried, makes you nervous. See, it's like forgiving and learning. As you guys release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moment. It could also be a Virgo that you're dealing with. Let's take a look at the Romance Angels. But it's looking like both of you guys could be isolating yourselves, trying to forgive and learn. Um how to appreciate the present and just let go of the past you know uh i don't mean to trigger anyone but it's kind of a mental illness to always go back and be stuck in the past i know that's easier said than done right but you just kind of need to rebuke all negative rebuke all negative thoughts you know and, and i know that's kind of easier said than done but negative thoughts are from down below positive thoughts are from the most high so I mean, that, that might take some practice meditating, you know. Uh, one form of meditating is just looking at what's here in front of you like, okay, there's this rock, there's this. You know, just remaining present is a form of meditating. So that's something you guys could do, you know, just put on a binary beats, meditation music, and then just kind of observing um, the space around you pretty much. You know, you don't have to be like, hum, you know, be all Buddha or anything, you know, for 12 hours. <laughs> you know, you could really just... Put on music, clear your head, and just point out the things in front of you. Just stay present. And then once you're clear, clear-headed, just try to maintain that for a little bit. So, Leo, you versus them. January 2022. Express your love. You see, I feel like they want to come in and show you that they care. They just want to smooth things out. That's another Six of Swords. This could involve traveling for some of you guys. Um, you guys could be separated right now, or you're going to end up traveling, being separated from this person. Leo, you versus them. 
going on some sort of vacation, retreat, you know, take it however it is you can relate. January 2022, Leo, you versus them. See, I feel like you haven't really forgave them. You know, that could be why you're holding yourself back, but it's like there's a strong magnetic attraction here. You might still be kind of drawn to them. I mean, and it could be because there's real romantic feelings here and you guys are getting grounded, but it's like, both. Well, you know, you're living your best life right now. And then I feel like this person's going to reach out. Might start off small because with free yourself, you know, they can't stop thinking about how they messed this up or everything they did wrong, shoulda, coulda, woulda. You know, I feel like this person just wants to be playful with you. They don't want to, like, to be so serious with you, you know. To recapture romance, allow your inner youth full of spirit of fun to shine. So, I feel like with that full card, they just kind of want to be like, Hey, how you been? Like, kind of pretending like nothing happened in a way. Um, engagement on top of the King of Cups. But your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So, you know, they really are wishing for something, a new cycle with you. And it's the waiting game here. And engagement, you know, they do want this. But all right, guys, I'm going to go to close it out here. It looks like they're going to reach out. And um, you guys might have to isolate yourselves just to be able to forgive them, you know, to go within. If you don't want to forgive them, that's fine, you know, to each their own. But it's looking like this person wants to be more serious with you. It could be too late. I mean, it's up to you guys, 100%. I am just reading the energy. But all right, guys, I'm wishing you guys so much love. Please take care of yourselves, and I'll be talking to you guys later. Thank you. Bye.